Well, hello there, everybody. This is uh, Silver Picker here, and this is my first video, my first silver video. Um, I wanted to do this video because I started picking recently. I've been going to garage sales and estate sales and the like, and buying up scrap gold and silver and coins. And I figured that it would be nice to show everybody. I've seen a lot of other picker videos and silver videos, but none that are quite like this. So I'm going to show off some of the nice finds that I've had uh, over the last a month and a half, which is uh, the short period that I've been picking. So, uh, let's get started. Uh, some of the first things that I bought were uh, at an estate sale, and it was just a bunch of old uh, Catholic jewelry. A couple rosaries uh, and ornaments. All of these are sterling silver. You can see uh, we've got the crucifix here, and a couple little uh, sainthood ornaments, and another crucifix. This one's pretty cool. It uh, fans out like that. All of this together weighs about 42 and a half ounces. Guess how much I paid for it? Guess how much I paid for it? Three dollars. Three dollars. Silver right now, sterling silver is selling right now uh, with the silver spot price of forty dollars and eighty-nine cents. Uh, one gram of silver is selling for uh, about a dollar twenty-two. So you can do the math on that. Next thing I want to show um, are a couple other pieces of jewelry that I picked up. I picked up this uh, nice uh, hallmarked sterling silver bracelet and these earrings here. This sterling silver bracelet uh, is from Greece uh, and I bought it for two dollars. Um, it doesn't weigh all that much. It weighs maybe 10 or 12 grams and it's got a couple little garnets in there. Um, but because it's uh, an actually nice piece of jewelry, it might sell for more. Uh, these are Egyptian antique uh, silver pieces, and they are very heavy for their size. Uh, they weigh 24.4 grams together, and like I said, I paid a buck fifty. Uh, this is a nice little Tiffany's charm. I think it came off of a uh, a necklace or a keychain, keychain more likely. Um, but it is, a, it's a nice piece, it's pretty heavy, uh, if you look on the scale, uh, for this tiny little piece, which I paid, uh, a buck for, it's almost five grams, um, so I thought that was pretty good. And then, moving on to some of the bigger things, I bought a sterling silver handled knife, uh, at an estate sale for a buck. Uh, I got the handle off, I'll actually put a link in the, in the description of the video showing how to extract, uh, a knife handle. Uh, I saw a great video on YouTube, I'll show you that. This is an extremely heavy piece, I'll put over, put this uh, piece on the scale over here, here, over here. And if you weigh it, that's 18.9 grams of silver for a buck. And you can see, I'll see if I can get with the loop here, uh, that you can see that it says, you know, that it's marked sterling. Uh, you know, I almost passed this up, this was in a box of plated cutlery. So you should always look, uh, you know, look with your hands, not just with your eyes. Uh, and you'll be able to pick the best stuff. Um, some of the other stuff I got, some of the bigger items, I got this pair of salt and pepper shakers for a buck. They weigh about 25, 26 grams together. I got this pill box. This pill box was a buck. Uh, it's hallmarked on the inside. Um, but it's a nice little piece, and uh, it was just a buck. Weighs about 10 grams. Now these two pieces are very, very interesting. You can see here, it's a letter opener and like a little bookmark. Both are sterling silver, but they don't look it. I was at an estate sale, and uh, I was in an office room, uh, not with any of the nice stuff, and there were a bunch of art supplies bundled together in a rubber band. A couple of markers, a couple uh, tubes of glitter, and this bookmark and, and letter opener. And the letter opener kind of looks like bronze. Uh, it didn't look very nice, but I figured I'd take a look at it at the back anyway. I turn it around, and I see a little hallmark. Now, what does this little hallmark say? If you look closely, you can see that it says Tiffany & Co. Sterling. Now, that is a fantastic find. Over here, it's marked Sterling uh, on the edge. This thing doesn't weigh very much, but it was bundled in there anyway. And when I saw that, I figured they must not know because they wouldn't have bundled such a heavy piece of sterling silver with a bunch of pens and pencils. And I asked how much it was, 
and too good to be true almost. They said two dollars for everything. So I paid, I left, and I got this gigantic letter opener that weighs a whopping 87.2 grams, which is fantastic. But I saw these selling on eBay for far more than their melt value. Uh, the last one sold for $188, and the one before that for $220. And there's a website selling it for uh, $325, actually. So just to show you a little bit more of uh, what I'm doing, um, over here I've got a bunch of different ornaments and jewelry, and uh, you know, I'd say there was a piece of plastic jewelry or something in this piece, uh, so I just you know popped it out and kept the silver. Bunch of rings, a uh, bunch of uh, chains. You know, I pay no more than you know a quarter or so for these chains, and you know they weigh between two and you know. This one weighs like 26 grams or something. This one's really heavy. Um, maybe a little less than that. Let's see. Nah, yeah, 21.2 grams. Uh, you know, I paid, I think, $2 for that one. Everything else I paid about a quarter for. Um, and uh, just a couple pieces of gold I bought. Um, I bought this little gold chain, 14 karat gold. Uh, I bought that for 50 cents. Uh, it only weighs about a gram, but that's about $30 or so. Um, here I bought this gold necklace for a buck. Weighs about two grams. Uh, not too bad. It's also uh, 14k. Another big purchase I made, which was pretty good, was this uh, geode necklace. This ridiculous thing over here is actually used to hold the geode, I, I took it out. It's unmarked, and I bought it at this artist's house. Uh, it was an estate sale, it's unmarked, so it was left in a bin of jewelry. Looked like silver to me, kinda sounded like silver to me. Uh, so I bought it, it was five bucks, and I tested it with my testing kit, acid test, and uh, it passed, and it is indeed silver and it weighs about 60 something grams so I'm pretty happy about that so as you can see this is my collection over here you know it's not huge you know it's a maybe 400 grams or so of silver a couple of grams of gold and uh, I just want to point out one last thing this is a bag of junk you know, things that I bought that I thought were silver turned out not to be silver um, maybe I'll do a whole video eventually on uh, what to avoid uh, for newbies like myself. Uh, you know, I see on these earrings it says 14K, uh, but what I didn't know is when it says 14K EGP, uh, that's electric gold plated, so it's pretty much worthless. Uh, so I bought that, it was only a quarter. Bought these, uh, the clasp on the back said 925 on one of them, so I thought, hey, maybe it's worth it. I bought it for 50 cents. Uh, it's not such a big deal, but you know. And this, this bracelet, uh, has a hallmark over here that says 14K. I'll show you with the loop. See there, it says 14K. So I thought, man, I hit pay dirt on this one. I'm not sure if it's real, but, uh, you know, for a dollar, which is what the list price was at the garage sale, uh, I thought it was worth it. I bought it, tested it. Turned out to be totally not gold. It's uh, you know I tested it with the, even the ten the ten k acid, and uh, you know it showed up with nothing. Um, you know so sometimes you got to be careful. You know I'm only spending a buck or two here and there, and uh, you know most of this stuff is you know ninety nine percent of the stuff is real, and uh, you know I'm spending between one and five dollars on these things, and they weigh each. You know most of them weigh over five ounce, over five grams. So, you know, it's not such a big deal if uh, you lose every once in a while. You know, hey, that takes the fun out of it, being right all the time. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm going to show you another video separate for all the coins that I've bought at uh, garage sales. Uh, so, uh, this has been Silver Picker. It's my first video. I hope you like it. Enjoy.